The pandemic has changed the housing market in several ways. First, one of the things that happened is it kind of put a pause button on construction. So we were already facing a severe shortage in the number of homes available for sale. But when the pandemic hit, construction just sort of stopped. And to compound that, people, you know, were stuck in their homes. And so now they're kind of looking at where they're living. And this, I think, created some urgency for some folks to maybe buy, reconsider where they were living. And what we saw is this kind of pent up demand occurring across the country at one time. Naturally, with prices skyrocketing and, you know, you hear stories of 20, 25 people bidding on the same house, everyone's asking, are we in a bubble? Many experts say we're not in a bubble. That means that home prices are not going to plummet in six months, a year from now, like they did in 2008. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't room for price corrections. So right now we're seeing these record breaking home price appreciations across the country where home prices are rising 15 percent year over year a lot of experts are saying that although home prices won't fall dramatically they might not continue to rise at this rate and some places might even see kind of prices rolling back a bit so one thing sellers might want to consider when they're putting their house on the market is to keep the house on the market for at least two weekends. A lot of housing experts warn against taking, you know, the best offer right away. You might get an offer that's above your asking price within hours or days of listing your house. However, that offer might not go through. So the best thing to do is keep the house on the market for a couple of weekends, gather all of your offers, and then sit down with your real estate agent and sort of go through those offers because a buyer might have a great offer. It might look great on paper, but it might actually fall through. And this could be because of the appraisal or the inspection, things like that. So you really wanna make sure that you have the most solid offer. That way you don't have to go through the selling process again. If you're a home buyer in this market, there are two things that you really want to consider, your budget and how long you plan on staying in the home. You really don't want to go over your budget. The reason for this is that if you get a mortgage that's sort of pushing your budget to the max and then your income takes a hit or your partner loses their job, you might be in danger of losing your house, getting behind on mortgage payments, things like that. You also want to have enough space in your budget where you can save money for home repairs, taxes, insurance. There are a lot of home ownership costs that go along with owning a house that are not included in just your mortgage payment. What we're seeing a lot of home buyers doing now is they're rating their 401k accounts, their retirement accounts to put these big down payments down on their homes. And that's a really risky move. The second thing is, is time. So the longer you stay in your home, the, the more equity you can build up. If you plan on buying a home now and you're paying the maximum amount for the home, we don't know that home prices are gonna appreciate at this high rate that they're appreciating at now. So if you turn around and sell your house in a couple of years, uh, you could end up losing money on that house. A lot of experts say you wanna stay in the home minimum of five years to really capture enough equity to either break even or make a little bit of money uh, upon resale.